Yeah, July, August, September each year, rainbow trout and alpha wire uh, between Te Arama and Manapori, they congregate to spawn. They spawn on the big sweeping bends where the cobbles and the flow suits their, their spawning requirements. That does leave them vulnerable should the flows need to be reduced in the river for operational requirements for the hydro scheme. This year what we're doing is we're getting a far better uh, idea of just when and where these reds, the nests where the eggs are laid, are placed so we can advise Meridian Energy who are very good at managing the flows to accommodate this should um, flows need to be reduced. Typically you'd be relying on, on high banks, um, looking down on them from a distance and that has some negatives in that you, you can't accurately locate and, and record reds and numbers but this year we're using the newer technology of a, of a drone that gives us aerial perspective and we can replicate photos of the same areas and then see uh, the timing and the placement of reds. Drone's an incredible tool and we've found it most appropriate for doing this sort of work um, due to being able to get very close to, to the fish for one um, but also the low noise so that it's not disturbing any of the fish life while we're filming around them. Our uh, clarity is incredible so it gives us the ability to uh, work anywhere up to 400 feet and right down to about four feet off the surface if we choose. Advantages of using a drone are that it gives us this elevated view whereas if you perhaps uh, used a jet boat you're down on water level and you don't get that same perspective and you also tend to spook the fish so you're displacing the fish that you're trying to record at the same time. The drone's inobtrusive and gives us that aerial view. So the relatively low cost is a huge factor um, to be able to take something out of the back of your car and fly it out over the river, it's giving a reach of anywhere up to, uh, up to two kilometres ultimately to be able to fly the drone away from your fixed position. We've got about a 25 minute flight time on the battery life and we've got live feed back to, the, back to the console for me so at any time I can see what the drone's seeing we can be taking still shots, video as we're going, so no, it is an incredible tool. We've flown the drone right over top of the areas that they've been, um, been spawning, been moving and there's been no disturbance to them at all even though we can see the ripples on the water from the uh, downwash from the propellers. So it appears for the most part it doesn't bother them and we're mindful of it always, we don't want to be disturbing the fish life but we thought that was important to try at the very start just to see the impact it had on them. In addition to recognising and recording where these reds are placed, the thing we need to bear in mind is that we estimate at this water temperature that it will be 65 days from when those eggs are fertilised and then buried until those young fry emerge from the gravel. So that's quite the period of time that we need to be wary of flow reductions.